Cinema 4D Release 18 has significantly improved the parent constraint tag, which makes it easier than ever to animate the handoff of one object to another. What we see here is uh, a couple of robot arms, a bowling ball, and a floor object. And what I want to have happen is the ball should sit here at the beginning, and then right here when the robot arm touches it, it should get picked up and transferred over. So in order to do this, I'm going to add a character tag, and more specifically, a constraint tag. Now, having done this, I'm going to select the type of my constraint. So I'm going to choose a parent constraint. And then I want to add targets for the various objects that are going to be picking up or responsible for my bowling ball. And the first of those is actually going to be the floor object. So I'm going to add a target slot for the floor and drag in my floor. I'm going to add in an additional target spot. And I'm going to drag in grabber A, which is my robot hand, and then grabber B right here. I'm going to go ahead and add a target for grabber B and drag in grabber B. Now, if I play my animation back right now, the ball is actually responding to the movements of all of these different pieces. And if I was to adjust the various weights or strengths here, you would see that grabber A and grabber B have no effect when I set their weight down to zero, and the floor has complete effect. So how would I go about easily toggling all of these options? Well, what I'm going to do is just restore these to what they were at before, and down below there's this update local offsets option, and if I click on this down arrow, I can choose which object I want to be the parent. I'm going to choose to set floor. And you'll notice that it has brought down the weight of my grabber A and my grabber B. And if I choose record optimized, it's going to set keyframes only for those parameters that need to be keyed, but there are quite a few of them. Next, I'm going to advance forward in time to the place where my grabber arm is being picked up. I'm going to choose to set grabber A as my parent, and then I'm going to choose record optimized. And it's right around this time that you might be wondering, well, is there an easier or faster way to record optimized? And yes, there is. So I'm going to go to frame 45 when the ball is being set down on the floor, and I'm going to hold down my control key as I choose set floor. And that basically just combines the setting of your local offsets with recording optimized. Next, I want to swap over to grabber B. Again, holding down control as I click on this, and it's going to lift it up. And as it drops it on the floor, I'm going to choose to set my floor as my parent again while holding down control. So now when I press play, we've got an animation where our ball is being picked up and transported, and we've got a seamless exchange of parents. And it was really quite simple to accomplish.